according to stories, the links at Riverside, the City of Memphis Division of Park Services. Huh. What we're trying to do, friends, is get over to McKellar Lake, which is this lake right here. So I'm gonna have to go down, go back across and go down one more and go across and see if I can get there. This place is, wow. Look at how trashy this is. Stay tuned, friends. Clearly didn't look like this back then. Look at this place. Unbelievable. I can't believe they would let it get like this. All this junk. But this is Lake Gaston. They have to pay the park. Something else interesting that I found. Let's see if we can line it up. And it'd be hard for me to believe that this is that old. You can tell that this is absolutely different, but I would assume that it is in the same place. And you can see Elvis and Charlie Hodge, and you can see the parking lot back there, and you can see the edge of these. So I would assume that they built it back very similar to the way it was then. But that happened right here, friends. You can see the parking lot, and where it's at, it almost looks like maybe the um because you can see that the parking lot looks a little bit larger before the hills but sometimes that can can throw you off as far as where it is it may have been that this thing was a little bit further over but you can see that it would have happened right in here this thing right here looks just like the ss minnow doesn't it why the Indian cried. So they have fuel out here. The young man in there told me his grandfather's owned this for a long time. He said that Elvis would come up here and fuel his boat up. So this is the right place, friends. Now I'm on a barge is where their business is right here. And this barge looks like it's been here a long time. As you can see the, the posts, it says flood 2011. The rolls of the barge got up that high and you can see it's flooded. So it really flooded then. And when it did that, when it did the 2011 flood, it got in houses. So Elvis would have put in right over there and you saw the picture of him and Charlie Hodge and he would have probably come over here 
to this fuel station and got fuel or the fuel station that's on the edge of this marina it looks like it could have been here that that long that would have been in the 60s so one of the first things i wanted to point out was mckellar lake in the 50s and 60s was a very very nice lake a lot of people went there and attended there skied boated just laid out on the uh, sand and the beach and this is elvis in his new boat and he's going over the rules and regulations as you can see and this lady right here that you see there with the pen and pad in her hand with the scarf on her head she's interviewing elvis and her name was Audrey Gonzalez, and she was out there talking to him, and she had interviewed him evidently a few times before. This was July the 8th, 1960, that this interview happened in there at the lake. And I'll put a link down in the description area of this video where you can click on it and read her blog about this day. Elvis had just bought this boat, and she was talking to him about the boat, and he said that he was in the boat dealership looking at the boat and he was the only one in there and he thought well i'm home free nobody's going to bother me in here and about that time a lady saw him through the window and actually ran through the window of the boat dealership with her car by accident but anyway he bought this boat and it was powder blue is the way she described it so the bottom would have been white the top would have been powder blue and then the little white in the middle and this boat was a glass par citation a 1960 model to the best that i can understand and you see that little thing on the front of the boat right there he actually tore that off hitting the dock when he was coming in the, on this day so i mentioned that this was a glass par citation i want to show you something and look i'm not calling anybody out i just want to make a clarification i know elvis probably owned a lot of boats but at Graceland, there's a sign, there's two boats, and there's a sign that says that he owned two different boats, and it does not mention this boat. I know for a fact this is a glass par citation. So let's start by looking at Gladys's boat. You see the one on the left. You notice it's got that trim just above Gladys, that chrome trim, and then it goes up, and you see the shape of the glass and the shape of the top. It looks nothing like this boat. I don't see any of that chrome trim or anything. Now let's read what the sign says. It says, Elvis enjoyed spending time on the water with family and friends. These two boats that Elvis owned in the 1960s. Named after Elvis's mother, Gladys, Elvis owned a 1960 red and white 16-foot wizard. The boat was used by Elvis and the Memphis Mafia on McKellar Lake, located on the Mississippi River, before the colonel donated it to the Boy Scouts of America in 1962. And then the other one's a tan and white 61 Glastron DeVille that was later given to Alan Fortas of the Memphis Mafia. Neither one of these boats match that boat. You would think that the boat in the the picture which is the glass par citation would be one of these two boats and it's not so i don't know if these boats really were his boats or not look at this boat this is the other one and you see that it's got the chrome trim looks nothing like the glass par citation so i don't know about these two boats right here my question was how many boats could elvis use in 1960 61 62 and one more thing that I wanted to point out. I keep seeing these photographs of this Elvis skiing here, and you'll see these next pictures, and they keep saying that these are on McKellar Lake. These are actually in Biloxi, Mississippi. The guy with the green trunks on, you see him skiing beside Elvis. They stayed in a hotel there that was kind of a, a resort. And the young man in the green trunks, his dad owned the resort, and he was a ski instructor there. And this is he and Elvis out there skiing in Biloxi. And we've actually filmed in Biloxi. I've not put any of that stuff stuff out yet but I know that's in Biloxi no doubt. Lastly I want to give you a little timeline. Elvis had been out of the military for about four months on this day. This was July the 8th 1960. On July the 3rd 1960 uh, Vernon and Dee got married. July the 4th, Elvis rented out the amusement park for the very first time at the fairgrounds. July the 21st, Elvis got his first black belt degree in karate. All that happened right around that. Just before this, he started filming G.I. Blues, and just after, he started filming Flaming Star. So now you know.